guys, it's Rachel from Pure Soli. So I really wanted to try out the whole Draw My Life tag. So here's my version of Draw My Life and I'm actually going to tag my sister as well. Um, so she'll have her video up of her Draw My Life. So anyways, let's get started and thanks for watching. Okay, so it all started on August 27th in a small Canadian town or actually city called Regina, Saskatchewan. So I know all you guys are thinking, weren't we all born out of a Regina? Well, yeah, but I actually was only born in the city of Regina and I was actually breached. So the doctors told my mom that she had to have a C-section with me because my feet were first. So anyways, that is my mom, Anna Grace, and my dad, Louis. Me and my little sister was born three years later and her name is Kimmy. So growing up, I just remember we had like the best upbringing. Like my parents did so much for us, but there was two things that always happened. One, I always had a damn cold sore. Like every time I was sick, I always had one and it's all in all my kid photos and it sucks. And two, we moved around a lot. We started in Regina, we moved over to Vancouver, BC, and we finally settled in Delta, BC. So when we finally moved into our big house in Delta, um, I was super excited about three things. One, we lived around the corner from our best friend, Violet. Two, I finally had my own room. And three, this house had a pool. We were super excited. I think the first year we moved in there, we swam like almost every day. I mean, we would even swim in the winter time and we would swim until our lips turned purple. But before we, we were even allowed to use the pool, our parents told us we had to take swimming lessons so we actually, we would know how to swim. So we went to the local rec center and we took lessons at Sun God and the lessons actually turned into swimming competitively and me and Kimmy were just in love with the water. Our life was all about swimming. Because I was so caught up with swimming, I didn't realize how horrible I looked until I finally got my eighth grade pictures back and I had this short, ugly bob, bushy eyebrows, no makeup, braces, and it was just horrific. So one day I asked my mom if I could start wearing makeup and her first response was no. And so I was a little bit sad, but she came around and she actually was like, okay, fine, you can wear makeup as long as I take you to the mall and buy your makeup for you. So she took me to Oak Ridge Mall and at first I was kind of skeptical because I thought she was going to take me to the old lady counter. But to my surprise, she took me to this other counter that was super cool. And she actually introduced me to MAC Cosmetics. And I was so happy. I got to pick out four things and I picked out um, cork eyeshadow, uh, espresso eyeliner, and chestnut lip liner and folio lipstick. I was so happy that um, I got to use this MAC stuff because all the other girls in my school were only using drugstore stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. So by the time my ninth grade school pictures came around, I was set. My hair had grown out. I was wearing makeup and I finally had tweezed my eyebrows. And I even like started taking some modeling classes and joined a couple beauty pageants just to help boost my confidence. But also during this time, there was a lot of mean girls around and they used to make fun of me and just hurt my feelings and make fun of my hair, make fun of my makeup, and they would just say cruel, cruel things. So I ended up being friends with all the boys and because they were the only people that were nice to me. But because I was only hanging out with boys, this led to a lot of rumors. So I remember one day I asked my parents if I could change schools and they were like, no, you can't move schools because private school means good and public school means bad. And I remember begging them all the time, like, can I please leave this high school? And I never told them why. I didn't tell them that all the kids were being mean to me, but 
I think they kind of figured it out because one day they all of a sudden said okay. So I was super grateful and I actually left that high school in the 12th grade and spent one year at North Delta High School and that's where I graduated. So after high school graduation, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't really apply for any colleges and I didn't even know what I wanted to get into. So one day I was talking to my mom and she was like, you know, you're really good at this beauty stuff and, and makeup and hair and everything. So what about makeup school? And I was like, yeah, that sounds perfect for me. So about a month after high school ended, I enrolled into the Blanche McDonald Center where I learned everything from day, evening, fashion, print, uh, airbrushing, and even special effects. And it was like the best time ever. Um, also at that time I needed a job. So I actually started working at this store called Aritzia. And I was super excited because all the girls that worked there were really pretty and everyone called them Aritzia girls. And I was gonna be known as an Aritzia girl. I graduated from the Blanche McDonald Center about eight months later. And again, I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. I didn't really know how to get into the industry or really pursue the whole makeup thing. So I started traveling and I actually started kind of hanging out with the wrong crowd and started partying a lot and drinking. And I actually even took up smoking, which was horrible. So anyways, it was just a really horrible time in my life and I actually got really depressed and even, you know, got a, like, just crazy and even attempted suicide and it was just all bad. So around that time, my parents were like, maybe you just need to get away, get away from these friends and, you know, really figure, you know, out your future. So they sent me to San Francisco, California, where I got to just relax and really try to figure out who I was and what I want to do with my life. So about a couple months after, I came back home and my parents were like, welcome home. And I felt awesome. I felt rejuvenated and I thought I knew what I wanted to do with life. And it was, I was so excited to be back home. But unfortunately I ended up getting back into the whole partying and drinking and smoking and just all that bad stuff. And you know, I really didn't change all too much. I remember this one time um, I went on this camping trip and it was like, the funnest camping trip I'd ever gone on because there was like a ton of people there. I swear there was about like 50 people there. And we were all partying, listening to music and drinking and doing a whole bunch of stuff. And um, it was like the best time ever. And I remember when the camping trip was over, they dropped me off at home and I went into my room and I sat on my bed and I was like so sad and just like, I felt so alone. I didn't know what to do and I remember I started praying and I was like, like, dear God, like, I don't understand what's going on. Like one minute I'm having so much fun. And then now I'm just so lonely and so lost. Like I need your help. So after that night, I cut down the party and I actually started staying home more. And while I was at home, I was actually on this website a lot. It was called myspace.com. And I remember one day I was with my girlfriend and she was like, hey, do you ever watch that show, Road to Sardom? There's that really cute guy on there. And I was like, yeah, kinda. She's like, well, I found him on MySpace. So we added him and he gave me his phone number. At first, I didn't know if I wanted to call him, but when I did, I was so happy I did because he ended up being an awesome guy. We talked about everything and we got really close and we actually started dating. And one day he was like, you know, we'll never really know if this is gonna work out until, you know, you move out here. And he was like, I'll take care of you. And you know, you don't have to work and just come out to LA and let's figure this out. So I said, goodbye, Vancouver. Hello, LA. So when I finally got out to LA, I really wanted to pursue my whole makeup career. So I actually was blessed to do a couple music videos, some independent stuff and weddings and stuff like that. And I was super excited um, that I was finally pursuing my dream. But unfortunately, my dream wasn't paying enough. So I actually had to go out and get a real job. 
I ended up finding this admin job with a company. I didn't even know who they were or what they did until I pulled up and got out of my car and was like, man, it stinks. And it was actually the trash company. So I'm actually still with them today and I moved up and now I'm an account manager and doing pretty well. Um, but my first love and true passion will always be makeup. So I've been watching all these YouTube beauty gurus and I was like, I can do that. So me and my sister were talking one day and we were like, you know what, let's start our own channel. So here we are, a new channel and it's called Cura Soli. So this is our new beginning with YouTube and we are both super excited just to be a part of it. So that's it. Thanks again for watching and if you liked the video, hit thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Alright guys, till next time, we love you, bye!